Hi, this is Dr. Alan Widener from MassageChairRelief.com and today is our uh, next issue of the, the bi-weekly massage chair industry update. Today is July 30th. I have no idea where the year has gone. It's unbelievable how fast it's gone, but it is already past half and we're, and we're well into the second half of the year. Well, uh, lots of cool things to talk about. Well, not lots, but some pretty cool things to talk about today that I'm excited about uh, covering, particularly the Iyashi, the new Iyashi chair which came in this week. But uh, anyways, uh, we'll get into stock status first of all. The uh, pretty much uh, the stock's pretty good from everybody. Uh, uh, Human Touch uh, looks like all their stock is in. Uh, looks like uh, Osaki is good even though they're low on the uh, Tope 7075R and the uh, 7200H Brown. Uh, the, the the Panasonic is uh, 30,007 and 1285 are back ordered uh, for another while yet. But Sonyo was back ordered on the black leather, but they were supposed to have been replenished by July 29th, which was yesterday. And they're usually pretty conservative on their uh, re, uh, on their restocking uh, uh, figures, so I or dates. So I assume that they are definitely in. Um, and that's about it. Uh, it looks like, uh, as far as I know, uh, you know, Infinity's in stock. Um, the only the only one I'm not particularly sure on, and I don't and I don't get regular stock updates from is Cozia. But uh, they have their own uh, supply channel, so I assume that they've got plenty of their own of their own chairs in stock. Okay, now what's kind of new this week? Well, there's lots of exciting things over the last couple of weeks. First of all, we've been talking about the Infinity Iyashi chair, which is this the first chair in the U.S. market that will have rollers that go down the back and into the butt and the back of the thighs. And we were expecting uh, an Iyashi from Infinity or Infin- Infinite Therapeutics, and it came in last Thursday night. Uh, we assembled it, and Friday I sat on it. I wrote a review on 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 sat on the uh, or, or Friday. Sorry, Friday I sat on it. Saturday I wrote a review, part one of it. The primary uh, things that I noticed while sitting on the chair. We sat on it for a couple of hours, and it's. I got to tell you, it's a pretty cool chair. I'm pretty excited to have it. It's a Chinese-made chair, even though it's got a Japanese-sounding name. Uh, but it's uh, it's a very very contemporary design. Uh, some of the uh, more conservative folks, uh, despite the features of the chair that you might like, the the, the design might be a little bit too. A little bit too uh, too contemporary for you, but uh, well, you know that remains yet to be seen. And this chair, I have a feeling, is going to be a fairly popular chair. But I'll tell you what, the butt rollers are fantastic. And I and I was taking notes when I was sitting in the chair, a whole bunch of notes, and I and I you know of course transcribed those notes and and and, and uh, uh, elaborated on them in my in my review in the blog post. But I, as I was reading through my notes, I, I wrote a couple of times. And I didn't mean to. I didn't realize that I'd said it, but I, I wrote, butt rollers are fantastic. So obviously it impressed me enough that I wrote it down twice in my notes. But uh, that really is a, a wonderful feature. And I noticed that you kind of have to make sure you're always sitting back against the, the, making sure your butt's against the back of the chair. Because when the rollers come down, it kind of almost lifts you up and then moves you a little bit. So you have to push back so you can get the full benefit of the rollers into the thighs. Now, the the, the extent of the rollers goes down to about mid-thigh when your butt's up against the back of the chair. Uh, it does not go to just be, be behind the knees. It's a 40, uh, 40, is it 49 inch? I believe it's a 49 inch roller track. Uh, uh, and it, it, it's really quite remarkable. I mean, I really, really like that feel. I was a little disappointed in the way that it massaged the neck. It does a decent neck massage, but it's not as vigorous as the 8500 or the 8200. That's kind of what I was comparing it to. But uh, the, the arm massage is great. The foot massage is great. It's got a foot roller system that seems to go in different directions, like forward and then back. But it also has airbags on the the the, the, the chair uses the foot airbags to kind of move your feet across the roller. So while the rollers are going, you're getting a shearing effect of the airbags moving you across the uh, across the, uh, the, the 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 surface of the rollers. And that's a pretty intense foot massage. I, I mean, I like it, but uh, that's something that you may want to adjust or turn off it from time to time when you're sitting on the chair. The intensity of the roller in the mid back and the shoulders oh it kind of has a little bit of a uh, when the rollers come up kind of like the panasonic ma70 the rollers come up a little bit and a little bit up and over the top of the traps before it goes up the neck i really like that it seems to hit the levator scapula muscles really well uh it hits the the rhomboids between the shoulder blades awesome does the low back wonderfully uh, I'm, I'm really happy with the chair and that sliding base is pretty cool when you when you're sitting in the chair you can put that chair right up against the wall and then when you turn it on the, the base will slide forward 
and then it'll recline into your zero gravity position or whatever recline position you go into. But uh, it kind of feels like you're getting moved out onto a launching pad or something, uh, preparing for launch, and then it'll just recline. But uh, And the remote control is fabulous. It's like a TV remote. I mean, it's a very simple remote control. I will do videos on all this. This We're doing a whole bunch of videos this week on it, by the way. But uh, the remote just has a menu button. Push menu, and on the screen comes up your options, auto programs, manual programs, settings, uh, rollers, whatnot. Everything is from that screen. Very easy to use. I, I'm very, very impressed with it. And it plugs in uh, inside the right armrest, and there's a little pouch there too. So the whole thing is obscured from view for the most part. It's on the inside, not on the outside of the armrest like uh, some of the other chairs have. Uh, it also has plugins on the side where the power cord goes and the power switches, which is unique. I've never seen that before. It's always been in the back. That's no big deal as far as function goes. And there's a couple of deficiencies in it right now. Well, not deficiencies, but things like, first of all, the, the shipping is supposed to be, was supposed to have been this month, but it's going to be the end of next month. And the reason being is the demand has been high enough that they've, uh, uh, they, they've ordered, <coughs> they've doubled their order and their order amount so they can uh, they can provide uh, uh, supply for the demand but also the apple app uh, which uh, it has a droid app and an apple app the droid app will download from the uh, from a link and i haven't done that yet i've got to do that when i do part 2 of this review today but uh, the the apple app is not quite ready yet and so they want to have that ready it may not even be ready when it comes out in the end of August, but they're not going to delay the shipping any any further. And you know, uh, if you're if you're used to massage chairs, you're you're used to not having an app necessarily, unless you had the old HT uh, or not or not the old, but the the HT ninety five hundred, which and that 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 uh, connectivity has since been uh, removed from that model. But uh, there's not many chairs that have that. So it's probably not something you're really going to miss because you don't really know what it is yet. But it will uh, once you get it, and you can adjust, you know manage your music from your cell phone and uh, and what, whatever else you can do from that app is going to be pretty cool. But right now uh, they're they're just getting the the production up, and uh, the chair is good. I, I really like the chair. I'm, I'm quite happy with it. The people that sit have sat in it so far in my showroom have liked it. Uh, one person uh, loved it, but he knew his wife would not like the design, uh, or, or sorry, not the design, but the the color and of, uh, of the body, which is all white, and the and then the inner material is either a red, a cherry red, I believe, or a, a caramel brown. We have the red color, the cherry red color, and it's very nice. It's a very contemporary looking chair, pretty cool chair. Uh, I like it, and and I think it's going to be a, I think it's going to be a popular chair in this industry and in this market and uh, I think you'll enjoy it. the price on it I think it's $54.95 they give a $600 instant savings which brings it down to $48.95 and uh, you know I think it's a, it's a very reasonably priced a uh, little higher than mid-range priced chair but uh, rich in features, pretty pretty good chair I, I think you're gonna like it now th so that's the Iyashi and you can read my review I'm gonna be doing part two probably tonight I have a few other things I want to talk about uh, that I didn't get to in the first uh, the first uh, article. Uh, another thing that's happened over the last couple of weeks is Osaki's come out with a revamped uh, version of the 7200. The, and the Osaki 7200H has been a, a fairly popular seller. It's a good chair. The Osaki 7075 chairs had a lot of problems with breakdowns and with uh, uh, just a lot of hassles, a lot of headaches. And uh, so I, I, I would probably encourage you, if you're considering the 7075, I would probably encourage you to take a look at the Osaki 7200 if you want to stay within the Osaki brand. It's a nice chair, and I, I haven't heard a lot of problems about breakdowns with it. Uh, a lot of my customers that buy it don't call me about it. That's usually how I hear about it, is customers will call me when they're not happy. And uh, we had some problems with that 7075, and, and you know, Osaki acknowledges that as well. But uh, we, we would encourage you to look at the 7200. But the 7200H... Uh, is, is it's a good chair. I've got it in my showroom. A lot of people like it. But the 7200CR, which is the new one, the new model, uh, it has foot rollers in it. And uh, it has less airbags. It's got 48 airbags instead of 51, which is how many the 7200H has. And those airbags, I would guess, are taken out of the headpiece. Because the headpiece uh, on the uh, 7200H and the old 6000 before that had airbags in the in the neck and the base of the of the uh, of the of the headpiece, so it pushed down on your trap muscles. It was it was an imitation of the Sonyo's uh, cervical traction device, and uh, they have since removed that in this new model, the CR. They've taken out the uh, airbags in the neck and uh, from the headpiece. Uh, they've added a like the top of the chair is more of a dome on it as opposed to just a chair back with you know a typical chair back. It's got kind of like a dome over it, and the Iyashi kind of has that too. It's got a body that has a a, a dome over the top and it makes it look cleaner kind of cool uh but uh, they've they've changed that also there is um 
let's see, what are the other changes on that chair? So that it has foot rollers, it has less airbags, it's got uh, uh, the different head design, no shoulder or trap muscle airbags coming down. Oh, and, 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 and my guy at Osaki tells me that the leather or the synthetic leather of the 7200CR is a nicer looking leather. It looks more like real leather than the more uh, uh, shiny uh, current 7200H. And I think the 7200H looks great. I like the body design of it. I like the look of it. It's a nice looking chair. It's got the chromotherapy lights on the outside in blue, which is really neat looking. And and uh, But anyways, the 7200CR is a new chair. Now, here's the thing that kind of surprised me. It's a 5495 chair. So it's about two grand more than the 7200H for foot rollers and uh, and a little different design on the head, and so I'm a, I'm a little surprised by that. They may have an instant discount that they they haven't announced yet, uh, maybe 500 bucks like they do on a lot of their other chairs. But I'll let you know as soon as that happens. But uh, I had one of those chairs delivered uh, to a local a local customer here the new 7200CR, and they really liked it. And the guys that delivered it thought it was cool. And I've got young guys, and they think the Yashi's cool. They think the new 7200CR is cool. And so when those boys think it's cool, it means that the younger folks really like the design. But I do like the design, and they say it looks a lot better than... Even though the the body is basically the same, but with that new head, that new rounded head thing, it really cleans up the design a lot, and uh, I think people will really like that. So, okay, so the new Iyashi's out. The new 7200CR is out from Osaki. Uh, oh, we also have the IT8500 in our showroom now. And I, I the, the IT8500 is our second most popular selling chair next to the Inata Sonio. And for folks that, that don't want to pay for the uh, Inata Sonio, uh, don't want to pay that money, a lot of them will get the IT8500 because it has the same body design, but it's a very nice massage too. It's not as refined and nuanced and, as, and the quality components, the components aren't as quality because it's you know Chinese versus Japanese made chair. But the uh, 8500 is a very popular chair and I have it in my showroom now and I really like it. I had heard some people say that the intensity of the 8500 is 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 it's too much for them. But uh, so I, I, I started to wonder if the 8500 was more intense or had a different roller system than the 8200. And you know, it's pretty close. It's not dramatically different. I've had a number of people, since I got the 8500 in the showroom, I've had a number of people try both because I have them sitting right next to each other. And the 8200 and 8500 in their eyes is not that different as far as the massage goes. But uh, the 8500 is nice. It's got a good neck and uh, neck and uh, sub sub uh, sub occipital massage. It uh, it has airbags that can inflate in the front and pull the shoulders back, as opposed to the 8200, which just kind of pins in the shoulders from the side. Uh, but uh, the 8500 is a very nice chair, very popular chair. We had a fellow in, Mike from from Minnesota, uh, a week and a half ago, and he came specifically to try out the 8500, and that was the chair that he eventually ended up buying. And uh, and that is a nice chair, that 8500, and I, I and it is a very very popular chair. Um, blog posts that I've recently written on my blog include uh, the Iyashi Review Part 1. It's about 1,700 words. It's not short, but it goes through the main things that really impressed me as I sat on the chair. And I didn't get an owner's manual with this chair. It, it didn't come with it. It was, the, it was their, it was Infinity's, Infinite Therapeutics like test chair, their, their, their prototype that they had in their, uh, at their head office. And so they sent it to us, and we're really the first retail store in the country that has this chair, and we love it. And, uh, uh, but I, but I, I wrote my first impressions about the chair and the things I really liked. And of course, the butt roller's fantastic as i told you earlier but read that review i'll have part two up today today or tomorrow uh, and then also i wrote uh, an article uh, i wrote i did an article review or a warranty review on the infinity as you know i'm doing an eight-part series on the reviews of uh, doing reviews on the warranties of the different massage chairs that we carry and we've done inada human touch panasonic and i just did infinity last week and so take a look at that too if you're interested to know more about their warranty. And, the, and, and I, we call it the fine tooth comb. We kind of go through the warranty bit by bit, and, and, and I make some comments and opinions and whatnot uh, next to various and sundry points in the in the warranty. But I also wrote an article about somebody had emailed me and said I have a mother who's very petite. She's four feet ten inches tall, and we're having trouble finding a chair that'll fit someone four foot, uh, you know, four foot. 10 inches, 4 feet 10 inches tall. And so, uh, you know, usually I get questions from people that want chairs because they're too large. Like, I'm 6'7", or I'm 6'5", or, you know, what chair will fit me, or I'm 350 pounds, what chair would fit me? Well, you know, once in a while I do get a question about which chair would fit a petite woman, or a petite man, for that matter, but uh, typically a, a, a petite woman. And uh, so I wrote an article about that and made some recommendations of chairs. There are a number of chairs that cater to folks that are five feet and under, uh, but it is a, it's a tough fit. Sometimes you feel like the chair just swallows you up when you're shorter, 
And uh, some chairs are not designed for really, really short folks. Uh, like the Osaki 7075 is not really designed for really short people, as an example. But uh, And the 7200H is not really designed for really short people either. I'd probably say that uh, Panasonic chairs typically fit shorter better. Uh, the Infinity chairs seem to fit some of the shorter people better. Uh, the, the iRobotics chair uh, is, is a big chair and, and may not fit the shorter folks as well. But then Human Touch, uh, their older models were a, a little better for taller people, like the 7450 and the 9500. But the new uh, Zero G 4.0 and 2.0 fit shorter folks a lot better. So there are some chairs, but I talk about them in this article. So if you've got someone that you're buying this chair for, someone in your family that wants a chair and they're short, really short, uh, uh, you know, take a look at that article. That'll help you out uh, to, in making a decision. Uh, I think that is pretty much it as far as uh, what's going on in the industry right now uh, and what's going on at our, at our showroom and what's going on with the new models. Uh, you know, if you have any questions about anything that I've talked about today or any of the other uh, massage chair industry updates that we have or any of our videos, because we do a lot of review videos, as you know, uh, please feel free to email me. Uh, you can reach me at alan, A-L-A-N, at massage-chair-relief.com, which is our website uh, URL. Uh, you can call me on our toll-free number, 888-259-5380. Uh, you can also comment uh, through our chat uh, program on our website or through Facebook on our Facebook page or, or uh, respond to one of our tweets or, or, or on our Google Plus or whatnot. We're all, we're, there's so many ways to, to get a hold of us, and so please don't ever hesitate to call. And I try to answer every call, and if I don't get it, uh, my gal that answers the calls when I don't get them will, will text me or let me know immediately, and I, will, uh, and I will get a hold of you as soon as possible. <coughs> but we appreciate the fact that you watch these videos, that you're learning something, that you're gaining something, some information or some helpful uh, uh, tidbits from these videos. So please feel free to like uh, the video if you find it helpful and share it on, on your social media platforms. It's a great way to, to spread the word about massage chairs. And massage chairs are becoming more and more a part of our culture here, not to the extent that they are in Japan or, or in the Far East, generally speaking, but uh, Americans are starting to get the idea that these things are, are, are helpful. They're getting to be more and more affordable. And they are phenomenal uh, for especially this baby boomer generation and the and the senior, uh, you know, the seniors market, these are folks, and I'm part of it, but we, we're sore, man. We, we, we played like, uh, like we were super athletes when we were young. And now, you know what, uh, now it's starting to hurt now, <laughs> or we've spent 10 years in front of a computer, uh, or 20 years, uh, you know, uh, you know, the bending over and, and working in weird positions and playing sports and weird things or doing rodeo or, or, uh, you know, parachuting or, or, Whatever the crazy things that we do when we're young that we that we never think of the consequences long term. Well, you know what? Now it's starting to hurt. And I got to admit, there's some mornings I wake up and I'm limping like a like a, like a, like like a crippled old guy to the bathroom just to you know just to <laughs> get ready for the day. And to be quite frank, I don't like it. So I use the massage chairs a lot more now. And I think uh, this is becoming a bigger part of that that uh, that baby boomer and, and senior generation industry. And that's a huge part of our our, our U.S. demographic, by the way. So anyways, if any of this helps, please feel free to share it and like it and Twitter it or tweet it and sh whatever you got to do, but we appreciate that. Uh, again, I'm Dr. Alan Widener. We will see you again in two weeks with more information that we have uh, in, in the massage chair market. And uh, thanks so much for spending time with me today. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.